Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is James Qual. I don't know about what passes for environmentalism these days. Everybody's saying, this is green, that's green. If the air gets more polluted, everyone's face will turn green. <laughs> yeah. If Mahmoud Ahmadinejad should ever have anything to do with Hillary Clinton, it'll probably be noose to her. <laughs> A couple of Russian submarines got near the coast of the United States. Then the guys on board found out that they weren't eligible for the Cash for Clunkers program, so they headed in the other direction. Success for Obama could be a, an uphill climb. We could have had Hillary Clinton for president. Now it seems as though we just may have a president who's like Sir Edmund Hillary. <laughs>
from the mast to the keel, no other vessels have greater appeal. Those bold boys in their beautiful boats, each one thinks that his is the best one that floats. There is nowhere they'd rather be than in their yachts traveling over the sea. All of them have entered a race. Each intends to do more than place. The one who wins is the one who gloats of those bold boys in their beautiful boats. They'll sail through a storm just to show they can steer and do it without any fear. Their yachts are ship-shaped from the mast to the keel, no other vessels have greater appeal. Those bold boys in their beautiful boats, each one thinks that his is the best one that floats. There is nowhere they'd rather be than in their yachts traveling over the sea. All of them have entered a race. Each intends to do more than place. The one who wins is the one who gloats of those bold boys. Those bold boys. Those bold boys. And their beautiful boots. Hi. Uh. Well, here we are in Hollywood, and of course, we all remember that there were so many great stars. Stars like Bing Crosby and Bob Hope. Say, Bob. Yes, Bing? Why do we keep going on the road to this place and the road to that place? Oh, it's simple. It makes, us makes it possible for us to keep going on the road to the bank. <laughs> and Boris Karloff. The weather forecast for tonight will be for partly cloudy and completely spooky. <laughs> and Bela Lugosi. Of course, I turn into a bat. If I were to turn into a baseball, Abbott and Costello would never stop talking about me. <laughs> and Abbott and Costello, who is on first? Well, what are you asking me for? I'm not asking you, I'm telling you who is on first. Then who's on last? <laughs> And Lionel Barrymore. You once called me a warped, frustrated old man. But I am so rich that I'm going to be celebrating New Year's Eve in the Bahamas, and you'll still have to stay here and freeze. And... <laughs> Vincent Price I starred in Beach Party and Dr. Goldfoot and the Bikini Machine Oh, that's what I like Ideal working conditions <laughs> And Sir Lawrence Olivier now is the winter of our discontent. I just read all of the reviews of the Betsy. And... <laughs> and Sean Connery. The set builders build sets to make it look as though it's the 1920s. The costume makers make costumes to look like clothes that were worn in the 1920s. That's the Hollywood way, and that's how we get the dough. <laughs> and Paul Lind. 
all during the time that I was on Hollywood Squares, I kept expecting to see Art Linkletter and Lawrence Welk. Jack Nicholson. Whenever I handle a golf club, I don't say four. I say, here's Johnny. <laughs> and Harvey Lembeck. I think I'll get on my uh, sickle. <laughs> Oh, it's getting away from me. I lose more sickles that way. Uh, I would have, uh, I would have liked there to have been a picture entitled "The Car of the Future," but I didn't. But instead of getting to be a director. I was victimized by every rejector, and so now I have no film to put in the projector. <laughs> oh, yes, the car of the future. This is a picture about contestants from the United States, Mexico, Ireland, England, Italy, uh, Greece, uh, and Russia, and they... Go from uh, Williamsburg, Virginia, to Las Vegas, Nevada, to uh, the Mojave Desert, to uh, Long Beach, to uh, Waikiki, Waikiki, Oahu, and uh, Shatokak, Hong Kong, Canton, China, uh, Agra, India, Giza, Egypt, Athens, Greece. Uh, Trieste, Italy, um, Salzburger land and Salzburg out in Austria, and then uh, Munich, Germany, Paris, France, uh, Calais, and Dover, and uh, on the other side, uh, at, on the other side of Great Britain, they go from Holy Island, Wales to Dublin, Ireland, and finally. They uh, finish up the race by zipping from Dublin to Galway. I had hoped I'd have millions of dollars and be a motion picture director, but um, what I do instead is uh, hold up hold up a sign for pizza restaurant. When I stand there holding the sign, I'm literally standing corrected. There is no meat that we will eat, nor milk that we will drink. We think that it is shameful to wear the fur of a mink. We know some folks don't like that, and it gets us into fights. But we'll have to endure it, because we're for animals' rights. We don't think that hound dogs get their fair share of the dough. When will we see a bloodhound become a CEO? We want other species to climb to greater heights. We'll keep on pitching for them because we're for animals' rights. When we want to hear music, we don't listen to Miss Spears. The sound of neighing horses appeals more to our ears. We think that chickens clucking is one of the greatest sights and better than guitar plucking because we're for animals' rights. We don't vote. Republican, and we don't vote Democrat. Being of our persuasion, we vote for Morris the Cat. We have our own beliefs and find our own delights. We don't need to see reality because we're for animals' rights. I like that Hollywood Boulevard. Got to, oh, Hollywood Boulevard. Got, yeah, it's got that Grauman's Chinese Theater. Last year I saw Get Smart at the Grauman's Chinese Theater. I like that Grauman's Chinese Theater. It really, 
really great looking place. And of course, of course, I like the look at all the all those great prints in front of the uh, Grauman's Chinese Theater and uh, at the Egyptian Theater. Uh, at the Egyptian Theater, I've uh, seen some some of the famous people uh, who've participated in motion picture productions uh, from time to time. Uh, in fact, I uh, on December on de December second during the year two thousand, uh, an extreme dream come true happened. I saw Mr. Ken Anakin, the director of. Those magnificent men in their flying machines. I actually got to t I actually got to talk to the director of one of my very, very, very favorite motion pictures. Those magnificent men in their flying machines. <laughs> I had composed a song entitled uh, "Stupid" and. Uh, and I must must give you a fair warning. It it's an extreme. It has extreme, extremely uh, disturbing and explicit content. And uh, do you figure you've been fair warned now? Fair warning. Okay. All right. Here it goes. The human race as a species is the stupidest life form yet. To earn cash, you can go to war if they're not hiring at the store. There were men who danced like Fred Astaire. Now factories pollute the air. The human race as a species is stupidest life form yet. The movie makers have gone nuts. Now all they film is blood and guts. Those gangsters are a lot of thugs. You won't get love and peace if you buy their drugs. The human race as a species is the stupidest life form yet. If you can't turn on that charm, you'll get thrown into the funny farm. They have guys who think they're Napoleon and doctors who rule just like that man. The human race as a species is the stupidest life form yet. People have a lot of bad habits. They preach birth control and breed like rabbits. Avoid most of the people that you've met. The human race as a species is the stupidest life form yet. What I have tried to do with my act is is combine it all. You know, uh, take the um, take. With the monologues, they try to ha make them sound like mixtures of Bob Hope, Red Skelton, and Johnny Carson monologues, and then and then I follow. Then I try to follow that with uh, Rich Little, uh, with with a Rich Little type routine where I'm imitating voice after voice. Tommy Lee Jones, he was Howard Hughes, and kind. Of, Sounded kind of like this. You know, Tommy Lee Jones as Howard Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Howard Hughes. But that's Tommy Lee Jones as Howard Hughes. I yeah. don't remember Howard Hughes that well. Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, that, that, yes, I, I'd say that. That's better to say Louis picture that same to... Turn all all right, yes. Uh, William Shatner. Yes, uh, <laughs> here I am, uh, William Shatner. I uh, had appeared many times on the Twilight Zone, and I was also Captain Kirk, and I was T.J. Hooker. Gilbert Gottfried! Oh, yes! I got to be a parrot! <laughs> oh, well, the thing to know is that uh, in spite of the fact that I've always wanted to be handling many mil millions of dollars, in spite of the fact that I was hoping I'd turn out to be clever enough to figure out how to end up with uh, millions of dollars, 
uh, I inadvertently resurrected slavery. And, uh, and so, if, so, if I, so if I need anything very badly at any given time, it's hundreds of millions of dollars. And, uh, and, I, and I hope that that will always be as well known as possible. Hope, hope, that mess, hope the word will always be gotten out. Yeah, one thing I have to say, if, I, if I've been around this long, it may have something to do with the fact that I hadn't taken any of those poisonous drugs. I'm still an idiot, but I'm still aware that I'm still an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.